Hey you guys, my name is Stella Williams and today I am going to teach you how to build a beach body. Congratulations, you have one. <laughs> It is swim season and I am fired up to tell you guys for the first time in many, many, many years, I have fallen, almost fell into the trap of getting beach body ready. If you don't know me, my name is Stella Williams. I am a curve creator, a body positive advocate, a body acceptance advocate, all the things. I am someone who's been around my entire life holding my stomach, holding my weight in my stomach and navigating life and navigating confidence, acceptance, approachability, love, all these things while existing in my body and learning how to be happy and achieving the success of being happy and getting to show the world what that looks like. And today I am so excited to help you on your journey of understanding that you already have a beach body. Where I wanna start though today is yes, I'm aware that I am a person who wears bikinis and I don't just do it for the shock factor. I literally wear bikinis in public. And I do want to start with a story that is kind of sucks. It does suck. I'm no longer friends with this creator model. I got my swimsuit acceptance from a very, very rough situation. And I'm going to be open and share that with you guys today. But I want you guys to know just because I post in bikinis, just because I post in monokinis, and even in swimsuits like this that are, you know, out there, I want you guys to know that doesn't mean that's I'm saying that's the only thing you can or should wear, but you should know, <laughs> especially in 2023, it's a valid option for you. So many people saying, I can't wear this, I can't wear that. I just remember when I used to go to Lane Bryant, right? They have great swim. And I would purposefully, if I wanted a two piece, I would get the two piece with the curtain effect in the front to cover my stomach. And I would not even buy swim shorts. I would buy the Lane Bryant biker shorts and wear those because I was too embarrassed to show my legs. All of it in hindsight is so trivial, quite frankly, upsetting that I had to experience life like that. When I look back as a 27 year old, I look at being 21 through 23, not really experiencing the beaches in LA or the pool parties because I was too nervous to just show up as I am. And I think that's what I always try to preach is just be who you are. Again, I'm not trying to say, you need to wear a bikini. You need to wear, you need to show that stomach girl. That's not my message here. My message here is, I don't even care if you can't confidently wear a one piece right now. You're worthy of doing it. And the only person on this entire planet who can give you permission to do so is yourself, period. Let's start with the story. I'm gonna try to keep this as vague as possible because I don't want drama, but the story is a pivotal story in my life. I was at the beach with a friend and it was a bikini shoot and I was not ready. I thought I was ready, that's why I agreed to the shoot. Um, I get to the shoot and there's swim options for me available. So basically you can either pick this swimsuit or that swimsuit. I ended up picking one, but then I was the only person who didn't pick the bikini. The other one was a bikini, but it had like a, a cover up so I wasn't all the way exposed. That's where my comfortability was. And I know a lot of you guys aren't there, but just hang with me and hear the story because I never want this to happen to you. I never want your privacy to be interfered with like this. So put yourself in my shoes for the next couple minutes, pretend you're me in the story and be thankful it didn't happen to you. But if you need to feel the effects of it, then I did my job. So we're at the shoot and I realized, oh man, okay, well maybe we should all be matching for this photo shoot. And I put on the bikini and I was not confident. I was confident enough to put it on and be like, yeah, I got this. But it, when it came time to me actually wearing the bikini, I'm on the beach in Los Angeles. Everyone's out, obviously it's a very touristy area. I was not a Malibu girl and I was in the middle of Santa Monica and it was time to like get shooting. And I wanted to go at my own pace. I knew that day felt different. That day felt like, you know, you've built up your confidence enough to, to do this get ready, but I wasn't ready to wear the bikini. And not only was it just a bikini, it was a string bikini. And I was like, I'm just not ready. My friend at the time had come up to me and literally pulled my clothes off of me. I felt so violated I, and disrespected that my boundaries were being so, so disregarded. And from their perspective, she was like, oh my gosh, you've got this, you're confident. Cause she's a confidence activist. So she was just like, oh my gosh, like you've got this, like you're so confident and you've got this girl. And 
totally, totally disregarded my boundaries. The reason this story is so pivotal is, you know, I went home hating how violated I felt, but, and this is the sucky part, I felt so free. After she pulled the, pulled the dress off, I was like, oh, it's done. And I'm literally walking around Santa Monica in this bikini and I've never felt more free in my life. And I'm not sure if it's just being on the internet and seeing troll comments or whatever it may be, but I never felt this feeling of, oh, this isn't a big deal. And I hate, I know for a fact, I would have got there by myself. And I hate that it took someone ripping it off like a Band-Aid, but I want this to be your Band-Aid moment. I don't want anyone to ever disrespect you or whatever again, but I would like to challenge you guys this year, even if it's just a one piece, to do something you're scared to do on that beach, on that pool trip, on taking the kids to Splash Mountain, Disney, I don't know, Typhoon Lagoon. Let yourself take that extra step. You know, I, in hindsight, am so thankful for that experience and it took me years to be angry at the disrespect of boundary because that day changed my life. After that day, I didn't mind wearing a bikini anywhere. I didn't mind what kind of swimsuit I was wearing. I was so much more confident in public as I was in front of this camera, in front of the world online and it created this really, really positive domino effect in my life where I just didn't care as much. And I say all this to say, that situation sucks so bad. But the freedom I have now, and yeah, I may get comments or, you know, that doesn't look good, girl. The point is not what, look good, what looks good to you, to the people watching, to followers, to not followers. That's not the point. The point is, can you live in this world so unapologetically happy with the choices you're making for yourself, your life, and your body? So in saying that, this journey's been great. We're gonna move on to uh, 2023. I had a moment. I just had a moment, you know, with weight loss, I have a lot of loose skin in my stomach, in my legs, everything is very, gravity's doing what gravity does. And this year, as I'm scrolling TikTok, I'm starting to see videos like, okay, you know, it's that time of year again, summer's in four months, Memorial Day's in four months, like, get, we're gonna get beach body ready. And I was like, starting to ask myself like, oh my gosh, do you need to do something different? Should you stop eating so much? Oh my gosh, you're gonna have to swim, shoot swim content in March. Should you just like tighten up your diet and just like maybe do OMAD again? I know you hate keto, but maybe we should, rabbit hole. And I had to stop myself and tell me, you're doing good. And regardless if you're on a diet, regardless if you're trying to lose weight, regardless if you're happy in your skin now, regardless of wherever you are in your health journey, I want you to hear that. Health does not equal confidence. Your health journey should be so far removed from how you feel in your body. I feel people should do whatever the hell you wanna do with your body. If you're 400 pounds and you wanna stay at 400 pounds, live your life, boo. If you are 300 pounds and you just lost 50 pounds and you're still going and that's your journey, keep doing you, boo. If you could literally wish for one day where people just stop talking about their weight, I feel you, boo. Literally do what you want with your health and remove the idea that health is in alignment with how you should feel about yourself. Cause that's ghetto, <laughs> that is so ghetto. I've seen so many creators, myself included, that I love that have shown us what it's like to be confident in every stage of life. And if anything that should show you guys, it doesn't matter what you look like. All this confidence, all this inner work, all this self love is so internal and I promise you, when you start to build it internally, it'll be easier to do it externally. So how do we do that? If you are seeing videos on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram about, all right, we're building a beach body here. Okay, here's a diet. Here's a diet plan for 90 days before summer. Press not interested. Scroll past it and don't let it affect you. Every single year as a creator, I go through this. Still, I've been doing this seven years. I still go through this. I see my peers with the quote unquote perfect body. And I have moments where I'm like, dang, you know, maybe I would do so much or maybe I could do so much more if I just had a flat stomach and a big butt. And then God reminds me so fast at what we're able to do in the body he gave me. Whether I'm still losing weight, whether I consider a surgery or did a surgery or don't wanna do nothing or touch nothing, he made me this way. And wherever that journey over there is doing what it does, it does not affect the journey here. Can you imagine if I listened to the internet who said, 
Just cut your stomach off. Just cut that loose skin off. You're going to be so much hotter. You'll be so much prettier. You already have the face. You're telling a stranger on the internet spend $20,000 to cut excess skin off to make you more comfortable looking at me. That is laughable. That is hysterical to me. Our body, I just did this panel for Bodcod in 2023. Our body is not a fashion trend. Stop treating yourself like a fashion trend. How to be more confident. Let's just talk about how to be more confident. How do we take these steps? What do we do next? First thing, you gotta put on the swimsuit. I don't care, you know, there are so many companies now who make various swimsuits. There are swimsuits that are literally rompers. There are swim dresses now. There are swim skirts. There are swim bod full body. There's so many options. You gotta get comfortable with what you're uncomfortable with. So someone like me who used to be uncomfortable with the fat pockets in my stomach or someone like you who may ha look like me but feel insecure about your stomach, find what makes you comfortable now. For you, you may use the term flattering. I suggest and urge you to stay away from that term as it could be really, really damaging. Again, we're trying to see that we are beautiful now regardless of what you think you look like or what's flattering. You are good now. And so I want you to remove yourself this swim season from that term flattering. Second thing I want you to do is put the suit on. Third thing I want you to do is go around the house in it, maybe step in front of a family member. Maybe take the kids to the water park in the middle of a Tuesday if you can, if you work from home, maybe on your lunch break, and just sit out by the pool by yourself when you know no one's there. And build up this confidence because I promise you what's gonna happen. Again, I don't care if you're wearing a one piece, I don't care if you're wearing a full body suit. I don't care if you got the sarong on still, girl. What is gonna happen is you're gonna start to realize the importance of what you're actually doing opposed to what you think is important. You think how you look in that swimsuit is important. You think how people look at you in that swimsuit is important. What's important is are you having fun? Are you enjoying the sun? Are you getting to kick your feet in the water? Are you playing with your kids? Are you running through the hose with your dog? Are you enjoying the life you've been given? Are you taking full advantage of the opportunity of fun today? Do you realize, hey, I'm not working right now. I'm not taking care of anything right now. I'm enjoying my life. I'm getting on that slide at Typhoon Lagoon. I'm getting in the wave pool in downtown nowhere, Texas. I want you guys to get out of your heads, get out of your bodies and enjoy the life you've been giving. You're given a whole nother swim season. Imagine that feeling you'll get when you're like, ah, I don't need to worry about my body. I just wanna float the river today and I'm gonna have a good damn time doing it. Like myself, when I go to the river or I go to a water park or I go to the beach or I go to a pool and I see someone else just having fun, do you know how good it used to feel to me as a teenager seeing fat girls just have fun on the beach at the pool? Do you know the confidence that gave me as an impressionable teenager, as an impressionable young adult? Like, damn, like, what are you doing? You're sitting there so worried about, oh, did I bring my sarong off? Damn it, I forgot my mesh cover up. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I need to get in the water. Do I take my shorts off? Is it time? Homegirl over here putting back five white claws and she having a good time. That could be you too. And I know it takes a journey. I've been through it. Trust, I've been through it. And most of you guys have seen that journey. But there's something so powerful about just loving yourself and your body and every stage that you're in. Guys, life is so short. I don't know if anyone else is here has been through what I've been through in just the last year of losing family members and realizing people are getting older and getting sick and new life's being made and people are passing. Like it makes me emotional because why does it matter? You know, I don't want to look back in 10 years at a photo of me at the pool and say, man, I remember, oh, let's just take my cousin for example. Most of you guys knew Khalil. When I think of the day we're at Nana's house and we're in the pool, my mind doesn't remember Oh, I was wearing a bikini. You know, I'm gonna be so real. You know my mind remembers? Me swimming in the pool with him and then me feeling sexy. Like me like walking through the water, like I had my little long hair back then and I was walking and I was feeling so good. Like I felt so happy. Now, unfortunately my cousin's passed and you know, that's as hard as it is. But looking back, it's like, oh my gosh, these are memories I get to hold on to forever. And if you can just let go of your fears and know that you're okay, you'll get to hold on to these really, really special memories and look back and be like, ah, I remember having so much fun with my cousin. I remember when, oh my gosh, I remember when you guys were five and I took you guys to the wave pool. It'll become so, you won't even remember how insecure you felt. And I hope you don't, I really hope you don't. 
I hope you don't come back and be like, oh, the stories of, oh, okay, I remember, yeah, I do remember that day with my cousin, but I was just so damn worried about my, my swimsuit. I hope you don't even remember what swimsuit you had on that day, y'all. I hope you're literally just like, I just remember the day. I remember having a good time. How do you actually conquer the battles that you face when wanting to be bold in a swimsuit. Know that everyone's entitled to their opinion, whether good or bad. As someone who's on the internet, I am no stranger to that. So what does that mean? That means people may have comments and people would be damn bold to say them in person. I'm not a fighter, so I wouldn't react, but I know a lot of people would. So hopefully that train's not on the tracks, but people may stare and be confused. Look at you funny and maybe even say something if they're so bold. But can I tell you guys a secret? What you think someone's thinking is really just a projection of your own insecurity. And I will tell this story too, because it was so embarrassing. This girl was staring at me. I wasn't even in a swimsuit, but I was in a tight dress staring at me. My mind's like, oh my gosh, she's so nasty. Oh my gosh, she, look at her being so judgmental. What, she thinks she's littler so she could just look at me. Do you know what this girl came up and said to me? Oh my gosh, I can't stop staring at your outfit. I'm obsessed with it. Where did you get it? Had nothing to do with my own insecurities at the time, at all. I was just projecting what I was perceiving she would feel about me. Oh, so she was team girl. She was team girl power. Like there was no nothing. So although we are aware that not everyone's reaction will be like that or any, if not everyone's approach may be that, just know that um, one, it's not often as bad as you think. Two, people's opinions don't matter. They really don't. I think it come, it, it's harder when it comes from inside the house. It's harder when our family members make judgments like, are you sure you wanna wear that? You guys, I try to keep calm about it, but every single family member, that way I'm throwing all y'all under the bus. They definitely used to be like, are you sure you wanna wear that? Maybe we should try something else. Or they'll be really sneaky and be like, cause they know I'm very opinionated and bold and strong in my opinions. They will try to be kinder with, now, do you know I really like that dress? That's my family's way of saying, that dress looks more flattering on you. And it's so great because when you keep enforcing your boundary with people about how you feel, that's less and less that they can say about you. Or they start to become aware that you're aware of how they feel about you. So how do you feel about yourself? And if you're so bold like I was, call them out. Say how, and so, so I guess last to last, let's talk about outfits you could wear to transition. Um, the goal for me for all of you guys is to be comfortable wearing a bikini. Not saying you have to, but saying you should know that if you wanted to, you could. So how do we transition there? A lot of people start with cover-ups, there's sarongs, there are you know, the full body suits we talk about. Start by every year, every season, if you're so bold and have a budget every couple weeks, get a new suit that pushes the boundary a little bit. My suggestion is buy them on Poshmark so they're really inexpensive, the shameless plug, but you could. You could buy very inexpensive ones on Poshmark and maybe, again, like we said, wear them around the house. Make yourself more comfortable in them. It's, it's a beautiful journey and I can make videos like this. Even with almost slipping into that mentality this year, I still am confident in where I am today knowing, you know what, I'm gonna go outside in that bikini. I hope people are ready. I'm going to Greece in a in a week and I, the only thing I'm doing there is swim content so I hope they're ready for me like there are so many so much there is so much freedom after the freedom that I'm trying to give you guys today I really 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 want you guys to take this as homework this summer if you're struggling and I really want you guys to come back whether to this video to my DM to the community tab preferably there and share your experiences if you've done this before please share your experiences because again this community helps each other so much and you if you are a part of it then you know that if you're not welcome and I can say whatever I can sit here on my soapbox and talk 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 but it's you guys who help each other at the end of the day because maybe someone might be intimidated that I can wear a bikini and they're nowhere near that or they're still judging me like girl you don't look good in that it's all a process and community will match you with people with where you are to help you further your goals and my goal for you is that you guys confidently wear a swimsuit I don't care what kind this summer because I want you guys to enjoy your life enjoy your experiences without the thought of do I look good in this girl you look good in that Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll talk to you really, really soon. Love and light. Bye-bye.